Hello friends, I am back and excited with another hair and makeup tutorial that I use for the stage. This one is for my 80s show and I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe and let's get into it. Like every time I do a tutorial, it is always important to prime your eyes first. Today I am using um, Shape Tape by Tarte. Just remember that these are just the products that I have. If you have colors that are just like these or you have your own methods of like priming your eyes, go for it. I'll leave all the products that I use down below. Now first and foremost, after we have put that stuff on our eyes, we are going to tape them up. Now take the tape, I'm using scotch tape today, and just you know put it on your skin a couple times so it doesn't stick too badly. And guys, just make that line upwards towards your temple and use that as your guide. Now these are the palettes that I am using. I'm using the Kristen Leanne palette, and also the main palette I'm using is the Masquerade Mini by Juiva, Juvia. Juvia? I think it's Juvia. These palettes are beautiful. Um, first, you're going to just start with a nice deep blue. Start it from the outside of the lid and work in. And you're going to build, build, build. Start with a little and build up. Now take a slightly darker color. This one's closer to purple. And just make a little line in there just to give it a little bit more dimension and depth to your eyes. Guys, we're going colorful. Now take a new brush. Go for a pink color, and this one actually kind of stains my skin, so you really got to build it. Don't go too heavy at first, or it's like I'll never be able to take it off. So again, to create just a little bit of line, just kind of blend out that blue line with the pink from the outside in, and just build it and build it and build it. And it gives a really cool like radiant effect, and it looks really cool from far away. A lot of people tell me that this is like their favorite part of the eye is that line. Now I'm taking a white, this one's actually a highlighter, but um, I'm just using any type of shimmery white as the base uh, eyeshadow for the glitter I'm gonna be putting on. So just put that all over the part of the lid that is not covered yet. Take your favorite glitter. This one is from Lit Cosmetics. I'm also using the NYX Glitter Glue. I think that's a great affordable price. And this is a really nice fine glitter that just looks so pretty on stage. I'm obsessed. Again, everything will be linked down below. Then I shade out the areas that are a little like hard lines. I like it to really blend as much as possible. For me, no look is complete without a bit of liquid liner. So again, this is the Wet n Wild one. I live and die by this. And guys, I'm gonna have a nice clean line because I got that tape. Definitely let that dry a little bit because that stuff takes a while and I don't want a mistake on my eyelid like I normally get. And just peel back that tape. Yes, so satisfying. Clean away any fallout or any debris from your eyeshadow. And then we're gonna get going. Oh, yeah, nope, we're gonna put a little spray on there first. This is the All Nighter by Urban Decay. Got this as a gift from my girl Haley. Thank you, Haley. Put on a little bit of mascara. I love Lash Sensational by Maybelline. It is my jam. I really need a new one. Now just put on your foundation. I really, really enjoy this. It's a drugstore brand, so I can kind of use as much as I want and it doesn't get too affordable. Hey, Kirsty. And then put on your concealer. This is a little out of order than I normally do, but you know, it, go whatever order you want. Now it's time for the brows. Guys, you know how I do my brows. I do it the same in every video. So I'll just take this minute to say, um, you're at the home of the Forever Theater Kid and I hope you're happy here. I hope you call this place home and that you guys will subscribe and be a part of the community because it's pretty cool here. It's pretty rad. Also, I wanted to let you know that this makeup is how I do my makeup for the show now. I actually had more footage earlier, but it was really crap, so I redid this and I wanted to show you my more updated look for the 80s show because it's much better than what it used to be. So later, you'll actually see how I do my hair, but that is actually how I still always do my hair. So that's actually filmed from the last contract. So you're gonna get a little change of location. But for now, look at me, I'm baking, I'm baking my eyes. Bake those eyes. Another very satisfying thing to watch is baking. Now I'm going back in with that Juvia palette and those blue and really dark violet colors and just putting them on my lower lash line and just building that up and giving my eyes a lot more depth. Hey Lucy, she keeps passing by. Now I'm actually going into the Kristen Leanne palette and taking that really bright green palette, uh, color that's in there. I just love that on the inner corner of my eye. That's not necessary. I just really like to do it. Put on a little bit of white liner to make it look like I'm awake because we all know I'm constantly tired. Hey Ree, 
That's Rian right there. This is my current cast, and I love them so. Chisel out those brows, make them nice and sharp. Hide the fact to the world that you have not gotten them done in months. But from far away, you can't tell. Now, this is a totally optional time. This is when I start kind of going crazy with details. I like to take this NYX really fine, bright pink liner and just put dots. It's very festival styled, so probably not really 80s at all, but I really like it. And I put that all along that pink line. And then I just bronze up my face with a bronzer that is completely falling apart and needs to be new. I need a new one. And then I do a little bit of contouring, the huge, nothing too special. As I said before, in a different video, I got the C and the three, E and the three. I'm sorry to anyone who's taking class on contouring and I am saying it wrong, but this is how I do it. And it makes me look, you know, a little, a little more sculpted out for the stage. And I'm not mad at it. Look at this beautiful blush palette by NARS. Merry Christmas to me. Thank you, mom and dad. I love it. Just put on a little bit of blush. Not too bright because the eyes are pretty crazy, even though it is 80s inspired, but you know. Take a little bit more um, highlighter, put that on the high points of your cheeks. But we're not done with that highlighter because we're gonna add more glitter. What is the 80s without glitter and craziness? This is actually a Sephora glitter and I'm just, oh, it's so iridescent and amazing. I love it so much. It's so crazy. It, the fallout is insane but I don't care. It just looks so, look at it. Oh, it looks so pretty. So I just put that right where my highlighter would be and I'm freaking obsessed, I will say. Now I like to go in with a really deep purple for my lip. This for my Maybelline is just really amazing. It's, ugh, it stays forever. The Super Stay Matte Ink is just incredible. And that's the whole makeup look. Now we're gonna move on to how I do my hair for the show, which is a really cool mohawk. Oh, going back in time, a different location. This look is best done with some dirty hair. So first you wanna section off the front bit. This is gonna be like your main poof. So however big you want it, I usually take a good like two inches back and I just section that off. Now I take different sections to create little ponytails at the top of my head. I would say they're about like two inches wide and then they come up to the center of my scalp and I just tie them back with little ponytails. Now I do three main ponytails and then the front is going to be a bit of a quiff bump, bump it inspired braid. Now first you're going to take one little section, a very, very slim section, spray it and then back comb it. And you're gonna do that with each section in the front. Now this part is optional, but for the 80s show, we really were encouraged to add color to our hair. So I have these little clip-ins that are actually from Claire's, and I just, I always do this pink bit right in the front. So I clip two to the back of the bump where it would be, and then I just do a regular braid down the front of my face, and then I pull it out to make it as wide as possible. Then I twist that braid back towards the back of my head, and once I feel like I've gotten it all the way down to my scalp, I pin it in place, and then I stretch it out a little bit more. So it looks more like a bump, and but you still see some texture of that braid. And I just keep doing all of those same steps all the way back. So I add a little bit of hair, combine it to the ponytail with another little pony, because these two are on the sides. Do a bit of back combing of the braid, and then I braid it forward and then just twist it on back, just like I did before. Now this look, I really wanted to do something really punk rocky for my track because everybody else in my cast had either like a big ponytail or crimping their hair. So I just wanted to do something a little different. And this actually works so well for the show because I sweat so much and the last thing I want is hair on my neck and on my shoulders. So this keeps all of my hair out of my face, out of the way. And it actually looks really, really cool and pretty badass on stage. So I love doing this. Oh, hey, Jones. Someone from my last cast, Kimberly Jones. You've all seen her before. She'll be just in the background of this the rest of this video. Of course, every time that you bring the braid down, you pull it out, you're going to want to pin it in place. You're definitely going to want to pin them together if you can because it will just make it feel more secure. Now you just, the final hair piece is that god awful scrunchy. But hey, it makes it look like I got more hair and I will take it. Now you're going to screw and put all the pins in place. I love my Conair screw bobby pins. They're literally the best thing for my hair. It's 
Sometimes they hurt going in, as you can see right now, but uh, they keep my hair so secure and it does not move during the show, or at least it doesn't move that much. And that is the main look, guys. Now I'm just gonna show you some of my costumes, tell you to, you know, follow me on Instagram, because you should, if you wanna see all my adventures, do it. And, and now let's get into costume and let's do this freaking show. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah.